Phil, thank you. We're learning more about a phenomenon experienced by people with COVID. According to studies, roughly 83% of people who test positive lose their sense of smell and taste. So what causes this and is there a cure? News 8's Heather Walker talked with a patient and a doctor and has this story all new tonight. It's a symptom that some people who survive COVID are left with, and doctors are learning there are some factors that may make you more at risk. It's one of those things that you don't realize until you don't have any anymore. You don't realize what you use it for. You know, even with, you know, the kids too, it's like a safety thing too. Like, I can't tell if something's burning. Things you don't even like think about. <laughs> I think about like constantly every day now. Tamika Parrish tested positive for COVID back in August. It started with body aches and about a week later she says she noticed something else was off. I got in the shower and I started you know feeling better but then um, I went to go try to smell <laughs> my soap. I couldn't smell my soap and I was like this is so crazy. Her taste gone too. Like I can taste the sweetness of the cinnamon. Um, I can taste the salt in pretzels, but I can't taste. It's kind of like um, you ever had food that wasn't seasoned that well. It's like it needs like more seasoning. Everything is like dull and bland. That's how everything, everything tastes like that. It's called anosmia. The founder of Michigan ENT and allergy, Dr. Richard Strabing, says research shows the virus causes inflammation in your nose and mouth that damages the nerves, which allow you to enjoy sense and taste. And it really cuts into your quality of life. I mean, patients have pretty basic concerns like how could I smell a gas leak? How would I smell if there was food in my refrigerator that was rotten that I wouldn't want to feed that to my family? You know, these are legit concerns. Studies found that roughly 83% of COVID patients will lose these senses and the older you are, the less likely you are to regain them. Allergies, diabetes, smoking and being over the age of 50 all decrease your chances of recovery and men are more affected. Roughly 30% of people recover in a few weeks, but doctors now believe a small percentage will never regain their smell and taste. I'm like, will that be me? Is that me? Tamika has been without her senses for nearly six months now. She says the hardest part is missing out on moments with her four-year-old twins. You know, I'm very like affectionate mom. I like to smell them, smell the hair. I can't smell them anymore. The small things she once took for granted Research is being done on remedies, but at this time, there is no cure. There's no recourse for it. There's nothing they can give you. It's just something that I just have to like live with, deal with, and pray hopefully one day it, it, it comes back, yeah. The upside is that COVID has created a lot of research about loss of smell and taste, and doctors believe it will lead to a solution. Reporting from home, Heather Walker, News 8.